Hi folks, welcome back. Uh, in this video we're going to go over periodic trends again, uh, but this time we're going to focus on determining uh, which element is the most electronegative. Okay, uh, so let's actually go to the problem. That's the periodic table that we're going to use. Uh, I'll, I'll get it there in a second, guy. Alright, here we go. Uh, the question that was uh, asked here is which of these atoms is the most electronegative? Uh, thank goodness we don't have a uh, <laughs> um, a noble gas here. Uh, if you if you have a, a periodic table that's kind of newer, uh, that's I guess uh, more recent, they will place the electronegativity on these newer periodic tables. But generally speaking, when you are in the uh, classroom, the periodic table that's on the wall does not have these numbers on them, and it's not always convenient to pick up a CRC and sometimes it's uh, a trouble but it's handy to just be able to Google it well on a test you can't Google um, or anything like that so we need to make sure that you uh, understand that the periodic trend for you know electronegativity uh, is basically up and over so here's the trend up and over and we need to figure out which of these is the most electronegative Okay, so let's try to ignore the numbers that are on the periodic table that I have here, and let's just try to uh, isolate those. So we got G, E, and P, so let's uh, highlight those. Uh, so G, E, and P, all right, and we've got A, S, uh, which is right here, and we've got C, S, which is over here. Now, uh, the trend that we're trying to use is up going up is increasing and going across in the same row is increasing so right here uh, if you look we got two in the same row okay so between these two we know going across that AS is more electronegative than GE now between these two which one is the most electronegative well the trend is going up this one is the most electronegative and just uh, fortunately for us the ones that they've given us in this problem uh, match that tendency as well. Notice that this is 2.1, this is 2.0, and this is 1.8. Now, once again, if if you have you know been keeping a watchful eye of the trends and make sure you just see the simple pattern, uh, notice the electronegativity increases going up a column. Uh, I'm gonna make that fatter, okay, or wider, I should say. So, going up this way increases and for electronegativity and going this way increases for electronegativity. So notice that uh, this one will be the smallest so we know CS is our smallest one so uh, CS is the smallest uh, then uh, GE would be the next in line to be in, uh, increased by a little bit then it would be AS but the largest one of them all is the P the phosphorus okay so the most electronegative is the phosphorus okay now so basically all you had to do is to pick the most electronegative one is pick the one that's uh, up uh, that's closest to the top and further right so anything over in here is much greater than anything way over here so I mean that's that's a pretty simple pattern to follow but uh, if you had to put them in order of uh, by increasing electronegativity, this would be this. This would be the largest, of course, uh, EN for electronegativity, and this one would be the smallest for electronegativity. I'm showing you both just because uh, the next question you get may be different than this. So, anyway, I hope this one was helpful, and uh, um, I guess check back with me, guys. All right.